Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and hello mom. This video is going to be about a routine that I want my mom, hi mom, to do for her low back pain. She's been in back pain since I think November now and uh, I need to make this video for her to understand some of the exercises that I've shown her before just to remind her and show her some key points to try to get her back to open up a little bit more. So mom, to summarize, your issue is your low back is really stuck in this position and everything you've been doing and that we've been trying to do is to get this to curve a little bit more, to flatten a little bit more, and then while still keeping this upper portion straighter. So right now your tendency is to be really hunched up on the top and then the low back goes into this curve here. So for you, we're trying to flatten this and then keep the top part straight. So I've already shown you one exercise, which is the one up against the wall where you have your upper back straightening up. Now I want you to really focus on getting the low back to round. So what we're gonna do is start off on the floor. I want you to keep um, a mirror near you so you can see this. So probably the one in your living room or in your bedroom is fine. I want you to try to get this part of your spine to go back, right? We want it to curve like this instead of this. So you need to watch it in the mirror to make sure that you're getting it in the low portion. It's going to feel like a big stretch. It's going to feel um, really tight and stiff here. That's okay, just go as long as it's a medium level of intensity, you're fine. And just stay there and breathe. I want you to keep trying to breathe into that area, trying to make it get used to being in that more rounded position. Then you continue doing that for about 30 seconds to a minute. So make sure you have a timer. Just try to let that loosen up. Once you've gotten that to just stretch a little bit, then we can move on to the next exercise. This one you can do a lot though. So if you can do this throughout the day to try to stretch out the low back, that would be wonderful. The other thing that's been really helpful for you is the foot to butt stretch. So that one, I'm gonna show you um, a couple other options so you can try to get more out of it. Cause the one that I already have you doing standing, um, your body is kind of getting off balance a lot when you do it. So I want you to have a better option or at least another option so that you can get a deeper stretch in the front of your leg and in the front of the pelvis. The reason we want this stuff to stretch is because when it's really stiff and tight, these muscles pull you and pull your low back into that position. So we need to really get these to let go so that you can keep this more uh, relaxed and neutral. Okay, so the version that I have you normally doing where you're just kind of grabbing like this and trying to pull, um, when you're doing it because the thigh muscles are so tight, you're kind of having to lean over and grab stuff and your, your leg is kind of out to the side, which just tells us just how stiff and tight this is for you. So what I want to have you do instead is just be next to a, uh, next to a chair. You could do this on the couch too. Um, you could use one of your stools, whatever is like a reasonable height to just put your knee on is totally fine. And it can be lower. So <clears throat> like I could use this and go a little bit lower too. That's all fine. But basically you wanna just put your knee on there. I think for you it's your left, left leg was the most obvious one. Then just get a belt. I think you have a yoga strap in the living room, just some sort of cloth belt, this one. I just found in the garage. So you just need to put it around your ankle here, kind of around the shin, a little bit higher is okay. Um, just where it's comfortable. And then you're going to be pulling the strap up. So what this is doing is, is pulling the foot towards the butt, but you don't want to let the low back do this. So you have to keep the low back flat, you keep the abdominals engaged, keep your belly engaged to keep pulling the front of your pelvis up. And then with the strap, you can just bring it over your shoulder and just keep the tension on so that you feel a stretch through the front of the thigh. Now I want you to notice when I'm doing this that um, I'm not 
I'm not starting off like this. I'm trying to keep it in line uh, in parallel to the other leg. Just to start. You can experiment with this. Maybe if you're in this position, maybe you'll get a really good stretch. That's okay to try. That's totally fine. But I just want you to see if you can get to this position um, to get the, the legs parallel while you're doing the stretch. So it may be helpful to do it on something lower for you. Maybe um, that's that, that green small bench stool thing with a yellow spongy top in your living room or it might be outside on the balcony. That one might be really good for you. So you're trying to keep working on bringing the foot closer and closer to the butt. It's going to take you time. Um, it's not just going to change the first time. It may not even change in the first week, but you need to be working on trying to bring it up without losing the spinal position and, you know, play around with where you grab. Maybe if you grab here, it's easier for you. Maybe if you go two hands like this, it's easier for you. Whatever works is fine. Just make sure you're getting the stretch through the thigh. It can be up high on the thigh, it can be near the knee. I just don't want it to be at the knee joint and I don't want your low back to dump. I don't want it to go into that big arch. Okay, so this is a different way for you to do your quad stretch, to do this hip flexor stretch. Um, and I think it'll give you a lot more benefit. You can also try leaning. So you could lean a little bit more this way, if that helps you. You could even do this um, off the edge of the couch. So if you were to lie down like this and you just put your Put your right foot on the floor and then you can pull this way. Now you don't have to balance at all, but you do still have to pay attention to what your low back is doing. Okay, so you're just gradually trying to get the foot to your butt without losing the low back position. The low back, we want to be nice and flat for you because your low back, again, is just too arched, okay? So there's that exercise. You can hold that one for a minute if you can please and then as you get better at feeling the stretch hold it for longer hold it for 90 seconds hold it for two minutes make sure you have a timer not your phone don't use the phone as your timer use something else use hopefully you have a kitchen timer uh, somewhere that you can use um, the phone you just keep this video on so you can watch me okay so this is the final one that i showed you when i was there last time um, Basically what I want you to do is stand next to or behind the couch. You can use a stick or uh, one of your uh, tall chairs from the dining table next to you. So you've got help on both sides. And then what I want you to do is just slowly start going down and then coming back up. You don't have to get all the way to the floor today, tomorrow, or even next week. But I want you to get used to controlling your way down without losing control of your upper body and your lower back. So when you're going down, I don't want your butt to start changing position. I want you to feel like you're just going on an elevator, just straight down, okay? The thing to think about here is with these muscles, we're trying to use these muscles to control the uh, descent, okay? So we're going down trying to let these muscles do the work. That means for you that you're not going to be able to go very far right now. You're just trying to build some of the strength there to maintain pelvis position as you're going down. So use the help. You need to use the help. Um, if you don't use the help, you're going to start to compensate. I need to adjust this angle, but basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna go down and start shifting forward like this. That's not what I want. I want you to keep your body up. I want you to be using the back leg as much as you can to slowly control it and then come back up. The reason this is helpful is we're teaching this muscle, these muscles here, to actually get longer and be strong in that position. If all we do is stretch, which is helpful, we're not going to have the strength to walk around and do stuff without your low back compensating. So you've got to do it on that side. I would say go three times and then maybe five times on the leg and then switch legs. So when you switch legs, it's now the right leg is behind you. You're using your help and then 
keeping the low back as flat as you can. You're just gonna go down to where you can control. Use your hands to help you so you can get back up and then just continue up and down. You should feel like you're just moving straight down. There should be no side to side motion. It's just trying to go straight down and back up. So if I show you this, this way with the right leg, straight down, back up. With the left leg behind, it's just straight down, back up, straight down, back up. Notice my knee is not flying forward this way. That's a different exercise and I don't want you to be doing that yet. So you're just trying to keep yourself straight down, knee going close to the floor if possible, and then back up. So you're trying to use these muscles. If you feel those muscles get tired and then you can't do the exercise properly, then you just stop and take a rest. So do that three to five times, both legs. Um, then take about a minute rest, maybe two minutes rest, and then do it again. So the way you're doing this whole routine is you're, you're doing the stretching uh, of your low back, right? So that's about a minute. Then with the leg stretch that I showed you, you're gonna do the left leg for at least a minute, the right leg for a minute, left leg for a minute. Okay, then you can come and do these. So you'll just do two rounds of three to five of these exercises. And then when you're done, you're going to do the leg stretch again. So get the strap again, pull it up and start stretching again. I want you doing that leg stretch a lot. So those first two exercises, the one where you're stretching out the low back and the one where you're stretching out the leg, I want you doing those at least three times a day, if not more. And anytime you feel like your low back is starting to tighten up again, I want you to do those two. And if you really don't wanna do the one where you're stretching the low back, then you need to do the one where you're stretching the leg using the strap, either on the couch or on a chair or whatever. Whatever works, do that, because that's, that was the thing that most obviously knocked out your back pain whenever you started to feel it. And that's what you felt when we were hiking. It's stretching out the thigh is what's helping unlock the low back so it can free up, okay? So please get on those and then, yeah, if you have questions, then we'll see you on, uh, we'll see you on the FaceTime or video chat thing uh, later with Connor. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're looking for more help for yourself with back pain, hip pain, whatever it is, check out uprighthealth.com slash DIY. And as a reminder, in case you didn't hear from our previous videos, Upright Live, our live streamed weekly classes with a monthly rotating focus with detailed programming is available for free for two weeks to help everybody stay sane with this whole coronavirus lockdown thing that's happening all over the world. Uh, so if you are looking for ways to get more mobile, flexible, and stronger on your own at home, then be sure to check it out, uprighthealth.com slash live. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't, and coronavirus sucks.